Hey people out there, it's been a while and I thought I'd make a video because I haven't in a long time, but I've been preparing to leave Jet and I thought I would do a little quick video thing about that since that could help some people when they're leaving and I can talk about my like reviews, on, not review, but like how it's going and what I thought it was going to be like and what it's actually like. And I'll probably make another video later about, like, what exactly people should think of and what exactly you have to do to leave, because there's, like, 25 different things you have to do. And, yeah, this one will just be an intro. TLDR of what it's like leaving Jet, but, yeah, I definitely thought it was going to be hard, but this is, like, shockingly harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, I thought it would just be packing, but each thing that you have to do has like five or six different sub steps, sub steps for you to complete it. Like to leave, you have to like change your visa to a tourist visa and you have to pay to do that. Like you won't send in or 40 bucks. You have to cancel all your bills and you have to find the phone number for them and you have to call them and cancel them if your school can't help you, and usually it's in Japanese. And you have to figure out how to pay your last bill before you leave because you won't have a bank account because Japan doesn't allow you to have a bank account if you're not a resident. So you have to figure out how you're going to coordinate five or six different types of bills after calling them and telling them when to cancel in Japanese. And you have to like leave money with a person to pay the bills so you're not in debt. And if you have a Japanese credit card, you have to figure out and make sure that's not going to get charged, and then you can't pay it because you have no bank anymore. And that's not even touching on the fact that it is shockingly expensive to leave Jet. I stayed five years, and the surprise residence tax, which luckily I knew about because other Jets talk about it by word of mouth. I wouldn't have known about it, but the Jet community, like, people around... Um, and Jet and stuff talked about it, so I knew it was happening, but it was about Jurokuman, or in US dollars, that's about a thousand. Well, the exchange rate's really bad for yen now, but if you directly translate it, that would be about $1,600. So my last paycheck was about, like, 400 bucks, which is not bad. But you have to pay for your visa, and then you have to pay for tatami and figure that whole thing out and the boe just suddenly decided to change their policy on that and like enforce it and sometimes they enforce it and sometimes they don't so you don't even know what they're doing minus the fact that usually tatami doesn't even cost it shouldn't cost that much but i've heard many boes or schools are quoting people at having to pay about juman or like Hachiman, which is like eight hundred to a thousand dollars, which is more than the store quoted that I called for the tatami. So that's a whole nother suspicious thing. But yeah, leaving a country inherently is incredibly exhausting because you're uprooting yourself and then like saying goodbye to all your relationships and your job and the students and everything. And then on top of that, you have like thirty-five things to do, and then people want to say goodbye, which is excellent, but it just seems like a marathon where it's like so so much for one person to do in such a very short amount of time so for anyone out there I would highly suggest working sooner rather than later because if it gets all jump bunched up at the end of your contract on jet it's going to be very hard <laughs> and I prepped about eight months before I left jet and it still wasn't quite enough but I also have way too many items and stayed really long. But yeah, definitely like try to knock off some of the little things you can do early. Start shipping stuff early. Get rid of stuff, sell stuff, sell high value items that you don't want. And make a list of everything that you have to do. Like in short, that's like if you want to get the pension refund, like get the pension refund set up and set a, like a tax representative for the pension. You're going to have to change your visa. You're going to have to do that bill thing where you cancel your bills and figure out how to pay them. You're going to have to empty out your apartment and send your stuff home and then say goodbyes. So, it's hard. 
and everything is exhausting, but it will be fine. And I think in hard trial times like this, we can get lots more insights into ourselves and how we think and how you cope with difficult times. So you can ask yourself why you feel a certain way or why you react a certain way to something. And remember that my friend said the universe doesn't give you anything you can't handle. So I just tell myself eventually hard times will end. Nothing is permanent. Good times aren't permanent. Bad times aren't permanent. So this is just another leg in the cycle, but it too will end. It would just be great if it would end sooner, but it's not. But it will end in time. So yeah, leaving jet sucks. It's the worst. <laughs> But I also have to remember that it's worth the memories and stuff. So if you're out there, please prepare as soon as you can. And if you Google, like, leaving jet on a high note, there's a Saitama jet PDF, which is out there you can find. That's a really good outline of what you have to do. And again, I'll probably make a video on everything you have to think about. Specifically, go into more detail about what you have to do when you're leaving Jet. Here's my little rant. It just feels like the world's falling apart, but some people say that when it feels like the world's falling apart, it's actually falling together and people don't like change, so maybe it's just a natural human reaction. That's everything I have to say. I hope this video can help some people <laughs> and I'll see you next time.